journalists were predicting trouble, they were right. The man accused of murdering Sean O'Callaghan hid his face as he was led from the van into the courthouse. This is 47-year-old Chris Halliwell. He's a divorced father of three from Swindon. It was just a short appearance. Chris Halliwell spoke only to confirm his name, date of birth, address and that he understood the charges. As he was led away from the dock, some people in the public gallery shouted abuse at him. He was remanded in custody until another hearing on Wednesday. Outside, the crowd had grown. This case has touched a nerve in Swindon. Yeah. And they directed their anger at the accused man as he was led back to the van and then away. <laughs> Sean O'Callaghan was 22. Friends described her to me as kind-hearted and loyal, outgoing, funny, occasionally ditzy and very popular. She just moved in with her boyfriend Kevin and friends say they made the perfect couple. She loved spending time with him, being with her close group of friends, being an auntie to her friends' children, taking walks in the countryside. They told me Sean always made them laugh. She was the kind of person you could never be sad around. Her body was discovered last Thursday at Uffington, around 10 miles from Swindon. She was last seen alive, leaving the Suju nightclub in Old Town early in the morning two Saturdays ago. At that nightclub this afternoon, the informal shrine of over a thousand bouquets of flowers was being taken away. With her family's consent, they're being given to care homes in the town. The murder of Sean O'Callaghan is unlike any other crime this town has seen. The way it's touched people, the way many have reacted, even strangers. That raw anger boiled over today. And Rob, there's been a new appeal today from police investigating the case. That's right, Vanessa. Police this afternoon have been in the Savanac and Ramsbury area putting up posters as part of this new witness appeal. What they're looking for is anyone who might have been in that area in the early hours of Saturday the 19th of March. Remember, that's when Sean O'Callaghan went missing and is thought to have gone uh, to that area. Particularly, they're looking for anyone who might have seen a Toyota Aventis car. They're thinking there may be poachers or lampers. Now, a lamper is somebody who goes out shooting at, at night time, might have seen uh, something there. They're not interested, police say, in prosecuting anyone for poaching, but they are desperate for people to come forward with information. And finally, Rob, in a separate development, tests are continuing on a body found in Gloucestershire. That's right. Police investigating Sean's murder have also recovered uh, another body at East Leach near Sirencester in Gloucestershire. They don't know who this woman is. All they know is that she was aged between 23 and 30. They think she might have gone missing from the Swindon area between 2003 and 2005. They're expecting her dental records to return uh, back today. If there's a match, they might be able to work out who she is over the next day or two. If there are no matches, then they're looking at DNA matches, and that may take some weeks. Robert Murphy, live in Swindon for us tonight. Thank you.